Hey, what's up guys? So Black Friday is officially here, and we've got some really nice discounts available on both radar detectors and on dash cams. Uh, we've also got some stuff that's now discounted that wasn't available uh, as part of the early Black Friday sales. And so in this video, uh, we're gonna go over all the best options available uh, to get you guys hooked up with some really solid countermeasures and save some cash in the process. <laughs> Alrighty, as always, all the information that you guys need that we're going to be talking about in this video is going to be available over on my website. And I'm going to go ahead and link to this page down in the video description. Now, diving right into things, right at the top, I'm going to start off with some of my favorite recommendations here. Uh, as far as a general recommendation for a good radar detector and a dash cam, uh, you can now pick up the unit in R4, that's on sale for Black Friday, uh, as well as the VFO A119V3. Good, solid, inexpensive dash cam. Uh, I've also got some links here to some recommended accessories to pick up with the dash cam as well. Uh, then as far as your high-end recommendation, you've got the unit in R8 for your radar detector. That's now on sale too. Uh, personally, I would also then pick up the VFO A139 Pro two-channel dash cam like this, uh, and then a battery pack to get it set up uh, for your parking recording. Uh, there's also a coupon code that you can grab down here to save some additional cash on that battery pack. Now, as far as what all this translates to, well, you can scroll down and you'll see all of that information. So the R8 is now on sale. Uh, it's gonna be available for $50 off here for Black Friday, brings you down to 649. Then as far as getting a good bang for the buck, there's the unit in R7, which is on sale now too. And this you can now pick up for 10% off for 449. As far as some of your non-aero detectors, you've got things like the unit in R4, uh, as well as the Redenso DS1. Both of these are discounted now as well, 100 bucks off for the R4 uh, and $70 off for the DS1. And then there's also some discounts on things like the Escort Max Cam 360C for your radar detector and dash cam combined. That's going to be $100 off now, uh, available over on Escort's website. And then we've got the Cobra Dual Pro 360 if you're looking for an inexpensive radar detector uh, with arrows. Next, moving on to dash cams, we're just going to quickly buzz through these. Uh, but if you want an inexpensive dash cam, again, under $100, you've got the VFO A119V3. And then if you want an inexpensive dash cam for both front and rear recording, well, that's going to be the A129 Plus Duo. And then for those of you who want to opt for 4K video for even better video quality, well, that's going to be the A129 Pro Duo. And there's also going to be a link right here for the front-only version if you don't need the optional rear camera. And then as far as probably what's going to be the best dash cam, well, that's going to be the VFO A139 Pro. This is available now from VFO, and one of the nice things is it has the new Sony Starvis 2 sensor. And this is the first dash cam that's going to be coming with this next-gen sensor. Now, I've had a chance to beta test a pre-production version of the dash cam, and again, it seems really promising. I have seen some issues with my pre-production sample uh, that should be resolved with the retail sample that I now have incoming. And I'll definitely keep you guys posted once I've got all my testing done and my review posted. But in the meantime, you can go ahead and pick this up directly from VFO. Uh, it's $30 off, and they throw in a free 128-gig card as well. Now this three channel option is going to come with both your front and your rear dash cam, as well as a third interior facing dash cam. But if you don't necessarily need all three options, well they've got a single channel version for just your front only recording, a two channel for front and rear, which is the way that I would go personally, as well as another two channel configuration that's got front and interior recording. And I'll link to all of these options here for you guys uh, over on my page too. Moving on, there's also the good old Thinkware U1000, another 4K dash cam that offers really long term parking recording. And then for those of you guys who want the cloud capability, as far as the different Blackview options, the flagship DR900X Plus, which is the dash cam that I run in my car, uh, that's 10% off for Black Friday. And then the LTE module to get the dash cam connected to the cloud, uh, that's on sale now here too. And then for those of you who want a more integrated option where you don't have that external LTE module, uh, there's the DR750X LTE Plus. Uh, it's a 1080p dash cam instead of 4K, but everything is built directly into the dash cam, plus it's going to be cheaper too. Then as far as accessories for the dash cams, my favorite dash cam battery pack for parking recording is the PowerCell 8. Uh, you're going to want to pick it up from Black Box My Car's website, not from Amazon, uh, and then use this coupon code here to save 15% off. Uh, and then as far as memory cards, uh, the SanDisk High Endurance ones, they're good go-to cards to pick up. They're also super cheap now for Black Friday. You can get the 128 gig version or the 256 gig version. Now, for those of you guys picking up the VFO A139 Pro, uh, VFO actually recommends that you step up to the SanDisk Max Endurance card specifically for that dash cam. And then at the very bottom, I'm going to share some additional discounts for you guys that aren't necessarily the countermeasures themselves. But if you want something like a phone mount for your car that also charges your phone while you drive, I'm going to link to that for you guys too. And as any of this stuff changes, whether it's a, a lightning deal that pops up and so something goes on sale for just a few hours, or uh, one of these things on sale goes out of stock because people bought them all, or let's say I come across something really interesting that I hadn't seen at the time I'm shooting this video, but I still wanna share it with you guys, uh, all of those changes and whatnot will be posted over on the website. Uh, and then lastly, the final thing that I wanted to mention is just thank you to you guys. Thanks for helping be a part of all of this. 
Thanks for hanging out here with me uh, and chatting about countermeasures, about radar detectors, and about dash cams. It's definitely made this whole experience much better uh, and much more enjoyable. And so I just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys. I hope you're all doing well. I hope your families are doing great too. And I'll see you in the next video.